Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Wakona Weekly. We hope you all enjoyed your shortened school days and did well on your midterms. As for the news this week, I will be covering a competition the Robotics Club went to this past weekend. And I will inform you of all the sports updates that have occurred. On Friday, the Wakona Robotics Club left the Berkshires to go to Andover, Massachusetts for a competition the next day. The club members packed their bags for an overnight stay at a Marriott hotel and brought their robots with them, finished or not. At the hotel, they had a debriefing and were allowed to do whatever they wanted or needed. The three teams, a first for the club, each took some of this time to touch up and work on their robots, and in spare time, spent it having fun and hanging out, including going for a swim in the hotel pool. The next morning, the teams had to be all packed and ready to leave by 7.40 in order to arrive at the RoboStorm 5.1 competition by 8, which took place at Andover High School. Upon arriving, the teams had time to make adjustments and fix issues with their robots before they were separately called down for judging and inspection. They would also have time to work in between these things. The judging is essentially a group interview where two proctors ask the team competing about their robot, their plan for competing, and what their members were involved with in the construction of the robots. Inspection made sure that all the proper qualifications for the robot were met, including being under a certain weight, being able to fit into an 18 by 18 cube, and having the team number clearly displayed on the side of the robot. The three teams from Wakona competing were the Thunderbolts, Wakona Robots, and the official Jar Jar Binks fan club. Each of the teams had their own issues before the qualification matches began and spent a good amount of time working together and helping each other fix the issues. The actual qualification matches include an autonomous period and a tell-off period where the team members drive the robot themselves. Wakona was not quite ready for the autonomous period, and this is something that they are now working on for their next competition on February 8th. During the tell-off period, the main goals include picking up blocks and stacking them on a platform amongst other means of scoring points. To help, each team is randomly given an alliance team to cooperate with, and the alliance teams change each match. Each team had to designate a coach, human player, and two drivers. The drivers do just what it sounds like, operating the robot. The coach, likewise, coaches the drivers and the human player, and the human player can place more blocks in the field or a capstone, which can be placed on a block for extra points. At the end of the day, none of these teams from Wakona made it to the final matches, but did well in their qualification matches, coming in 16th, 11th, and 8th overall. We are proud of what these teams have accomplished, and we wish them luck in their next competition. In sports, in girls basketball on Friday, Wakona defeated Mount Everett 53-30. Maria Gambaroni scored a total of 18 points in the game, Noel Furlong added 11 points, and Morgan Morzowski added 8 more points. Then on Monday, the girls defeated Lee 49-29, to Morowski helping the team reach a new high by scoring four three-pointers, more than any previous, which added 12 points to the total. Gambaroni and Jilly Coat each supplied another 11 points to the total, and Becca Morris added 7 more. And in boys basketball, Wakona took down their rival Taconic in a 46-40 win. Kevin Huben scored a game high of 24 points, and Tommy O'Connor scored a three-pointer. Wakona was able to take down Taconic largely in part to their major defensive plays, with Luke Hescock grabbing 10 rebounds in the game. This was Taconic's first loss to a Berkshire County team since February 9, 2018. Then on Wednesday, the boys won again beating Drury 57-54. Hubert scored a total of 19 points, and O'Connor scored another 17. Wakona was losing for the early section of the game, and then Griffin Salvini was able to score and finally bring them into the lead, until they eventually won the game. In Nordic skiing on Sunday, the Wakona boys team score was 52, placing them in fourth. The girls team came in fifth with a score of 82, for the individuals, Hayden Kendall came in seventh with a time of 18 minutes. Jack Pudlow, eighth, with 18.03. Logan Newsom, 18th, with 19.14. And Brennan Anderson, 20th, with 19.56. And finally, Haley Crozier came in 16th with a time of 22.05. In bowling on Friday, the Wakona Blue team earned a 3-0 win. Alex White had the week's best game with a score of 279 for his one game series, and 516 for his two game series. Amber Wood had a 237 game with a 451 series. The standings for Wakona are now Wakona Blue, nine to three, four, and Wakona Gray, six to six, six. That is all for this week. We hope you enjoyed the episode. 
Please be sure to subscribe to the DCTV YouTube channel and follow our social medias in the description below. There, you can also submit a form letting us know what you want us to cover. This has been Maddie and Anthony bringing you Wakona Weekly. See you next time.